vlogging setting going today I'm in the middle of moving you can see my apartment's really empty now so in other news in Lacey's life I have been receiving some email from you all and I noticed a pattern that pattern being concerned about penis size which I have noticed over time tends to be this shared experience among males and people with penises this concern about not measuring up do I have enough to pleasure her is she gonna laugh at me oh my god so embarrassing as a woman and someone who enjoys penises let me just say Usa. The average penis size in the US is five and a half inches. Five and a half inches sounds good to me. But say you're like cyber sexing with someone or you're watching porn. The guys are always like, yeah, baby, I got a 10 incher. And I'm like, 10 inches? Are you fucking kidding me? A, why are you lying? B, Ouch! See, that doesn't tell me anything about how good our sex is gonna be. We put up a poll on our Naked Notion Facebook this week asking you all about what matters in terms of physical pleasure. So 30% of you said what matters is strength of the erection and knowing that they're into it, finding your rhythm together. 70% of you said what matters is attentiveness and responsiveness to your needs and desires and a whopping 0% said the size of your penis. More formal research has said the same thing. Women are more concerned with how you use it than the size of it, and men are paying more attention to penis size than women are. Now, let's think about this for a hot minute. Why are so many men so concerned about it when the majority of women are like, yeah, I don't care. Penis is a penis. Thinking about men as a gender and connecting it to masculinity, one masculine mantra that I've noticed is that bigger is better. Bigger is more macho, it's superior, it's dominant. Impose that on penises and you get bigger is better in bed, bigger is more of a man. And if you have a small penis, it's like, oh my God, you're weak, you're inferior, you are more feminine, which is like, so not okay. So this preoccupation with penis size is in some ways about doing manhood right. But what does it mean to do manhood right in bed? And here we turn to your lovely neighborhood porn program programming, which when you have a culture that is simultaneously repulsed by and obsessed with sexuality, porn ends up being a place where people get a lot of their education about what is normal. But mainstream porn is like a strange fantasy. It doesn't accurately reflect reality, which translates into some weirdness in our perceptions. So what are some ways that you can deal with this then? So first off is obviously recognize the facts. There's no physiological or pleasure-based reason why having an enormous penis is advantageous. Your penis size is probably more normal than you think it is, and more than likely your partner's not gonna be thinking about it. If you really wanna be a master of pleasure, be attentive and in tune with your partner, communicate and talk out what you like and dislike, and try to reach deep down and rationalize those fears so that you can feel confident. That kind of self-doubt can throw you off your game. So anytime you catch yourself in that mindset, be like, no brain, I won't do it. And when you get tempted to buy those penis enhancement pills and creams and gels and pumps that don't work, be like, my penis would rather have some blinging condoms with diamonds on them. Cause your penis is fancy like that, regardless of the size. All right, y'all, if you have any more questions or thoughts, you know where to find me. I'll put all that info in the description and I will see you all next week.